Well, I didn't. I just came back from them. <laughs> um, I think the best advice, I don't know. I, there's been so much. We just talked a lot. You know, we've, we've just had a lot of good girl talk and a lot of laughs. And I think that was the coolest thing. You know, when, when you decide to have a coach be Christina Aguilera, you're preconceived notion is like diva down like how am I gonna get in how are we gonna connect you know so just the fact that we did on so many levels and that it was never weird it was I never felt awkward I never felt like I couldn't be myself um, but I think the best advice she gave me was just to continue to trust myself because I think in this process you can get lost in what haters are saying or what didn't sell as well on iTunes or all of these little things, you know, oh, is she going to peak too soon and, you know, be miserably terrible in the end or whatever it is. And she just always reminded me, like, do not listen to that. Do not read those things. Just keep following your heart. Keep moving forward. Put your blinders on and, you know, and go. And I have to so. say that that's probably the biggest part of being a coach on this show that, that I have to... Be, be aware of is is not allowing someone to be victim of their own headspace yeah. of psyching themselves out that they cannot do something because they're reading something about themselves and all that is just you know it's it's a matter of being in this business but also like she was just like she was so good at it because you can't help yourself sometimes but at the same time you know you, you, you just can't do it because because everyone is probably I don't know you just have to you just have to wishing they were you. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to stay out of your head. It can get really heady. You know, you're in front of millions of people and oh my god, did I make a mistake? Did I sing the wrong song? Did I, you know, is everybody going to hear that weird note that I hear, you know? So it's just a lot of things and and she just always told me, you know, just keep going. Don't don't worry about so any strong. of that. You're so strong. have a really good husband who'll babysit your kids first. <laughs> thanks, honey. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, yes, and thanks, I, I honey. Mean, really, honestly, my family, my parents, my grandparents, you know, my best friends, my husband, they, I could never have done this without the support of them. But there's a, where there's a will, there's a way, you know, and I think that so many people get lost and go to that dark place because they don't feel like they can achieve their their innermost desires. Um, but, but she's living proof. She's yeah. living proof of it. It's scary. It's really scary. There were many, many days where I was very fearful and didn't want to do it any longer and could, didn't think I was going to be able to withstand it. Um, but I just took a lot of deep breaths. Oh my gosh. Well, obviously Christina at first, but um, no, you know, I've admired these women for so long. I mean, I, I tell Christina all the time, I would, if I was on the freeway for an extended amount of time, I would play her Spanish album and do every my single Spanish run. Album. I don't know. It's really, you did like the best runs on that album. So it was like every run I would do in harmony, you know, I, I mean, I, I've, I've, you know, I, we're similar age. So they were the people that I was, you know, listening to and, and learning from, uh, and I mean, yeah, I'm so excited to collaborate with writers and artists and I'm just excited to be, you know, a part of the music business. It's what I've wanted my, really, my whole life since I was five years old and I auditioned for Star Search and, you know, it's... I've never, never stopped wanting that, and uh, honestly, at this point, I just think the sky is the limit. I'm just excited to to move forward and make a living doing what I love. And go spend time with your babies. Yeah. <laughs>